yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so bad. <laughs> Coffee doesn't taste good after you brush your teeth, but we don't have time because I oh no, my microphone. Okay, that's better. So I'm currently getting ready to head out. I am about to help paint a mural at the junction for the Window Wonderland animated AR mural exhibit. And it's very exciting. Always put on sunscreen. So it was like a whole application process. You can either apply as an animator or a mural artist. I, I tried to apply as both because I've never painted a mural before. And there's so many amazing murals here in Toronto and I want to try painting a mural. But they decided to take me on as an animator and they partnered me with this amazing artist. Her name is June. You're gonna meet her later. So we're gonna be painting the mural of a dog sitting business in the junction. So that's another thing is we're gonna get to play with a lot of dogs today. Oh my gosh, I hope I'm not running late. Ah. It's like the first time I'm doing something like this, like an exhibit in Toronto. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna continue getting ready and I'm gonna bring you there. Bye! <laughs> <laughs> I think I can see her. I think I can see June over there. Never mind. That's not June. There it is. I'm on the wrong side. I see June. I don't see a crosswalk. June. I see her. And it's the real June. Hi, June. <laughs> <laughs> is it open? Yeah, it is open. Okay. Okay, okay. Hold on. Hi, um, my name is Jin Jun Kim. I go by Jun. I'm an artist in, uh, working in Toronto. I do mirrors. I make ceramic works. do mostly paintings. Today, I'm out here to paint mirror for a winter wonderland. <laughs> I feel awkward. <laughs> Hold on. I'll, I'm your assistant. Yes. <laughs> so just let me know what what you need help with, because like this is my first time. <laughs> yeah. Okay. How long have you been um, doing murals? I've done it for just over three years now. I first started uh, 2017 summer. I took the course from Mural Roots. It's an art organization who specified with training uh, mural related stuff. And after that, I start doing really small projects. And I did a little bit more bigger stuff. And now today we're painting windows. What do you love about doing windows? Uh, I really like that it's outdoor. Uh, it's free for everyone. You don't have to go inside of the gallery to see the art, which is perfectly aligned with the COVID situation. June's design has these two adorable puppers that are frolicking in the winter wonderland, which is super perfect for the location of this mural. Hey, there are... Oh my gosh, the dogs! Hello! Hi! Hi! I'm Jessica! Yeah! Jacka or Jessica? Jacka. Uh, either way, I'm okay. I like Jacka. That's such a nice name. Oh, thank you. Okay, okay. You, can take, you can take a video. This is Adria, and she is the owner of Tail Waggers, which is a doggy daycare here at the junction. We do birthdays, we did Halloween, we do Easter, Christmas. That's my dog, he's deaf and blind, he's 17. Oh no! <laughs> what's his name? Harley. Like the motorcycle. Oh. <laughs> he's like, what's going on? And these oh. are all of you can take a little video walking in. Sure, sure. They might bark at you, but. It's fine. <laughs> Adria let June and I play with the dogs and we were in heaven. Christmas is our favorite, or the 
holiday season's our favorite time of year, and I think our window is going to be the best one. Yeah. In the junction. <laughs> Guaranteed. Yeah. <laughs> June and I loved playing with the dogs, but we were there on a mission, and so it was back to the window we go. So this is everything that June painted so far, and then this is all that I have. <laughs> you paint so quickly! <laughs> really blessed with the most perfect mural painting weather that day. It wasn't too hot, it wasn't too cold, it was bright and sunny, and people kept complimenting us as they passed by. They were saying that we were doing a good job, and the mural looks amazing, and it just felt so nice. It was such a good day. And I'd say it took us about eight and a half hours to paint this mural. And we've got pine tree, pine cone, evergreen, mistletoe, candy cane, Santa Claus. A gingerbread woman and a gingerbread man in a gingerbread house and all Christmas is just around the corner Christmas coming just around the bend okay. Yay! <laughs> really cute! I love it! It's so good! We did it! We did it! <laughs> Hold on, I don't know how I did this. Like you're like covered in paint and I'm like not, just my hands. This is pretty clean. Looks beautiful. Thank you. about like techniques. Yeah. <laughs> Looks so cute. We're so happy. Yay! Yay. <laughs> Client approved. Client approved. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> okay, let's cut up. So how did we get the mural to come to life for this exhibit? Well, before painting, I actually already finished the animation for it, basing it off June's final design. In Adobe Animate, I imported June's illustration, then I traced over it and made symbols for each background element. Then for the dogs, they were animated in a puppet animation technique, so I made assets for their heads, bodies, tails, feet, and so on, while staying consistent to June's design. And finally for the snow, this was animated using the CC Particle World effect in After Effects. And once we finished the mural, I tweaked my animation just a bit and replaced the trees and bushes with cropped images from the mural so that I can match the painting as closely as possible, which is also really important to get the augmented reality effect to work. And then both the animation and the mural were combined by the people behind the exhibit to create the whole augmented reality effect using the Ogle app. And this is how it looks all together. I wanna see! Oh my god! This is so cool! <laughs> this now so I just got back home I had the best day ever it was so much fun I've never oh my god this is so messy I'm so sorry not really I had the best the funnest day ever that I've had in a long while and I got to paint this huge mural which June she was like that it's such a, a big thing 
for your first mural to be that huge. So after lunch, we were like, okay, it's almost uh, sunset. We need to hurry. So we were like, really, we were just concentrating so that we don't have to come back the next day to finish the mural. And it turned out so perfect. And we're all so happy with it. June's happy. I'm happy. Adria, who is the owner of Tailwaggers, is ecstatic about it and I'm so excited for the exhibit to officially open to the public and for everyone to see the mural and the animation alongside it so it's amazing and I got to play with dogs oh my god all the dogs were so friendly it was the best day ever and I'm so happy and I kind of just wanted to end the vlog here thank you so much Toronto Junction, Tailwaggers, June, everyone involved in this, thank you so much for the opportunity. The exhibit runs till January 31, 2021, so if you're in Toronto, please do drop by or drive by. It's a very COVID safe activity for the whole family. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Thank you so much for coming with me. I'm so tired, but in the best way possible. So yeah, create your own adventures, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.